All right. Can you introduce yourself, your age, and just tell us what you do, man? All right. So my name is Tyquan Price. Uh, my nickname is Tyke. That's what everybody calls me. Tyke. Yeah. Uh, I'm 25. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I'm an artist. I've been drawing my whole life. It's like I started taking it seriously about four years ago, and I wish I'd have done it earlier. I guess like your talent really is where, you know, um, life will lead you. Like um, I found like instant, like quick success in it. I, I still want a lot more to go, but you know, it's that's what I do right now. Um, and I also work um, in homeless services. Okay. So. I help people on a daily basis, so that makes me, that gives me like a purpose, you know? And um, I feel like, you know, everyone needs help, so that's, you know, that's basically what I'm about. Awesome, thank you for sharing, man. <laughs> and I mean, what was it that was happening in your life that made you wanna, you know, become a part of the Porn Reboot Intensive? Like, what was the reason? So, I, I can honestly say I realized that I was probably, well, I realized that I was addicted to porn around like 17. Okay. Um, How old are you I, right now? I'm 25 now. Okay, cool. So 17, and the only reason why I knew 17 made a difference was because um, I started uh, having like erectile dysfunction. Mm. So, you know, at a young age and I was like, man, where, where is this from? So I instantly just like, it has to be like the porn or something because it was something that I was engaging in years before that um and on top of that just feeling like depressed a lot and feeling like disconnected i knew that wasn't normal and i was like i'm definitely feeling lonely because of all of this like i'm not actually interacting with people i'm just watching videos and you know feeling down every day so around that time i that's probably when i became aware of myself and uh that was definitely the change and you know myself and I told myself I need to just do whatever it takes and I found the I found your videos online just totally by accident um that's that was when I used to look at no fap and stuff and that wasn't working and then I was looking for something I like I just kept looking for something I found your videos and I was like I, I spend money on anything else I'm not gonna invest in myself mm -hmm. <laughs> the rest was history <laughs> Okay. And I'm really curious, though, if you'd been doing all the stop fapping stuff and you'd been looking at those videos, that's a lot of tips. There's a lot of information out there. What was it that made you feel that you should invest in this as opposed to I've got like tons of material out there instead of just watching all my videos? What made you go like, well, I'm going to invest in this? Um, because I felt like it would make a difference. Um. All of the videos that I would watch, um, just in general, just the whole scope of uh, people that speak on uh, PMO, um, I, I was I, I didn't feel like I was really um, changing, mm. and I felt like I was I would go on like streaks or whatever, and nothing would really change. I felt like I needed to actually, you know, invest in myself and maybe. I was just looking for something. I was like, maybe it's gonna be something that I can't find online. Like, mm -hmm. you know, there'll be an actual system. And um, that's exactly what worked for me. Before, I didn't really have continued guidance. So with, with paying for it, it was like, all right, I'm gonna be a part of something continually every day and I'll be, uh, you know, accountable to somebody and somebody will be accountable to me. Got it, okay. So is, is the program what you expected? Um, oh yeah, more than what I expected. I didn't, I didn't know what to expect, honestly, because I was, uh, <laughs> like I said, I was just being hopeful. I'm like very optimistic person. And I was like, I can't, you know, I don't want to live my life like this, like, you know, and, um, so once I joined and I seen like, wow, this is like, this is like real legit. And, uh, um, it, it, it had, it basically built a community for me to go to like every day. Mm -hmm. And, um, it definitely became more than what I expected because it showed results that I could measure. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so I, I just appreciate the program for sure. Awesome. And I'm curious, Tyke, what's the value that you feel 
that going through the program and learning how to quit porn and control your behavior with masturbation, what's some of the value that you've seen that it's brought into your just your day-to-day life, your relationships, your biochemistry, how you feel, the way you think about your future? How has that impacted you? So first of the biochemistry, um, that has definitely took a positive uh, role in my life now. I, uh, I make sure that I wake up early every single day. Even on my off days, I'm up six in the morning. And uh-huh. um, on my days when I go to work, I should be up at six, but I wake up at five. I wake up even earlier. Than uh-huh. And um, I do get sleepy towards the end of the day, but uh-huh. it's because uh, I used to go to sleep probably like two in the morning. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> to, especially as a college student, like that messed up my whole biochemistry. I used to go away to school. Um, but now, like, having a set time waking up and going to sleep, mm-hmm. for me, I just have, like, better energy in the morning. Mm-hmm. And one thing I realized is, like, when I first started doing the morning routines, um, my feelings probably every day were, like, pretty bad feelings. But as I kept it consistent month after month, now mm-hmm. I basically have three positive feelings every morning. Like, even if I'm tired, I usually have a good – I usually feel peaceful, calm, energetic, or um, – yeah, one of like any of always in that ballpark. Because mm-hmm. I, I I was just looking at my old journals and I would see that oh I feel anxious and sometimes I feel anxious maybe because of something that might have happened the previous night. But overall, like I just feel more like at peace, mm-hmm. um, and I just have more energy throughout the day. I just feel healthier. My mind feel health. My mind feels healthier. Um, I'm not so. Uh, just scared to speak to people. I think that's my most favorite uh, benefit so far Mm. is that I'm able to like talk to strangers now, actually have conversations and people just come up to me a lot more now. I don't know if it's like a, I don't know what it is, but I have like a type of energy now like that people really like to speak to me. And um, that's one thing I've always wanted. And I feel Mm. like I've gotten that. Dude, that's awesome, man. Those are some awesome changes. How would you say that your behavior with porn and masturbation has changed? You know, like a lot of guys, some guys are like, dude, I had no control. It was like every night, every other night, or once or twice a week, I was binge watching porn. What's the difference now with that behavior? Uh, the difference for me is I'm not doing it at all. <laughs> like, <laughs> like at all, at all, at all. Um, yeah. For the longest, like I've said, um, one thing I want to account it to was one thing that was important for me was listening to your podcast. Um, okay. And it was a podcast episode, like, and it changed, it changed my whole recovery. It's when you were talking about um, not counting days. Mm-hmm. And you always said that, but, I, like, I was just so used to that from what I've seen before um, when I used to just look at, you know, other systems. Mm-hmm. And after I stopped doing that, um, I felt much more free and more relieved and I literally just have not like uh I don't feel urges no more like I don't I don't uh even look at material that are suggestive that can lead me to porn um I've just became very aware so like I I just have like no relationship with it at all so I'm just like really excited about that That's awesome, man. It's awesome when you learn, when you experience the freedom of no longer counting, that pressure, no longer being Mm -hmm. obsessed with your recovery. You actually remember your post when you said that you had, you shared that you had listened to that podcast. I I think that's when you got it. You got the concept. Yeah, really. It's like I heard it before, but it just really hit me the way I I listened to it that day. I was like early in the morning going to work Mm -hmm. and I was like, this is it. (laughs) Like I just had like that moment. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we just have that moment, yeah. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Good to hear. Now, what would you say to someone who is similar to you, who was, you know, thinking about doing the program? Somebody who had watched a bunch of the stop fapping videos, who had been trying, wasn't getting results, and was like, man. Like, you, mm-hmm. you took a risk. You jumped off the cliff. No parachute. <laughs> like you said, you, you didn't even know what to expect. So that's pretty risky because there's a lot of stuff on the internet. So what would you say someone who was in your shoes you know, in similar shoes like you were who's thinking about doing the program um 
honestly, I would say listen to your listen to that voice in your head. Um, if you really want to change a life, you you just have to make sacrifices. Um, mm -hmm. If you've never did anything like this before, I really encourage you to do it. It's better to try something than not do it at all and just regret. And years go by, and you're still in the same situation. And and this addiction in particular, uh, well, like any other addiction, it can really ruin your life. So it's like you don't really have much time in terms of, uh, you know, like what you're willing to risk. You know, if I didn't join this program uh, in 2018, October, this year, I still would have been dealing with the same thing. Um, my depression could have been at an all time high. I could have been, you never, God forbid, like where I could have been. So if you, you know, if you, if you have a plan um, and, you know, you, you're in a position where you can join this program, I really feel like you should. It'll change your life. Um, it's just, it's worth it. It's just worth taking risk in life. Um, and where I was, I was, I felt like I was at rock bottom and I just needed, I needed something, mm -hmm. something different, something new. And the program has been that for me. Awesome. How would you describe the entire program, your whole experience since you joined in one word, just for you, Ty? What's one word that describes it for you? Transformation. Okay. Transformation, yeah. It, overall, it's just, it's a transformation of everything. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. it's a new person, uh, new friends, you know, through the group, new community. It's just a whole full transformation. Hmm. Okay, awesome, awesome. Any last thoughts or final words for those who are going to be watching this? Just anything just from Tyke to, to guys who struggle with this, you know? I mean, I talk about this all the time. What do you have to say to guys just from your heart? If there's anything that I could say is just never I, it sounds so cliche i know it sounds extremely cliche but <laughs> never never give up like if this is really if you really want to transform your life you want to do something you want to change your life um you can do it uh there's been times when i was really deep in this addiction and i felt like i had no control i was like i have no power like i literally have no power over this this is something that is going to have me for life i'm not going to have power over this this is something I'm dealing with alone. But if you, if you realize, it's all about just being aware. If you realize that, if you just tell yourself, like, you, you can do this, you can get through this, there's other people that have gotten through this, and you see that, that model of uh, getting through this exact situation, you can do it too. Um, a lot of times we feel really hopeless, we feel defeated in this addiction, but you actually have the power and you just don't realize it. And it just takes basically not giving up. Just keep searching for something. You'll stumble on something. I stumbled on JK has been biggest blessing in my life. Um, just never give up. Just know that you actually have the power to transform your life. And there's nothing that you can't do. You just have to believe it. And once you believe it, you know, you'll look for it. You'll start to act on it and then you'll change your life. Awesome, man. Ty, thank you so much for taking the time to share your experience with us. I hope guys benefit from it. Love hearing your story. And of course, I really enjoyed seeing your progress. And, uh, you know, you're still with us. So I'll be looking forward to more progress moving forward. All right, man. Thank you.